If you're looking for a big family bunk house unit that has high-end amenities but isn't going to break the bank, then folks, this one right here, the 2023 Heartland Pioneer BH330 is exactly what you're looking for. And you can start to see the amenities starting on the kitchen. This is a true solid surface, folks. In this price point, that is almost unheard of. I love the true solid surface, looks great, super easy to clean. And of course, it allows you to undermount the double bowl stainless steel sink with the high rise faucet. Now, a lot of people like the farmhouse style, but you know, there is definitely an advantage of having two bowls when it comes to washing and rinsing dishes. You'll also see that you have ample prep space right here, which I really like. And you have enough space over here if you want like a coffee maker, any other appliance, you have a space for it to sit fairly permanently on your countertop. Of course, the large three burner suburban cooktop, you have the glass cover here. Of course, just folds up and back. You can see the nice residential style grate. And then we drop down, you have an oven for a little bit of baking. Now for storage underneath, you kind of have the spice rack on the side, but when we look underneath the sink, you see there's plenty of room for a trash can and you have three full extension ball bearing drawers here. So you have plenty of space for your flatware, hot pads and everything else that you're going to need. Good storage up top. I personally like the decorative glass, helps break up the wood look there. Of course, the microwave and then the range hood is located right underneath that. And then next to it is the uh, Dometic eight cubic foot fridge freezer combo. This one is a gas absorption fridge, which essentially is just a fancy term, meaning that it's an RV fridge, right? It can either run off shore power or you can run it on propane. Taking another step back, you can see the thermostat for both the AC as well as the furnace. It is, of course, fully ducted, uh, both in the ceiling for your AC and then in the floor for your furnace. And then this one has a side aisle bathroom. So as I take a step in here, I'll sit down on the toilet just to kind of give you an idea of the space. Now, it was, they did kind of cut this out right back here, which I appreciate because it gives me a little bit more room for my shoulders here. Otherwise, it would have been pretty tight. But honestly, I have sufficient space for both my shoulders and my legs. Uh, you'll see the sink right over to the side. If I stand here, you know, the toilet is a little close, so you do have to fight it a little bit when, uh, for example, like brushing your teeth, you may have to kind of stand over here to be able to reach the sink, but for washing hands, it is not an issue whatsoever. You have an electrical outlet there as well as your tank monitoring panel, mirrored medicine cabinet, of course, up top. And then when I take a step in the shower, even without a skylight, at six foot, I can fully stand up here. If you're much taller than that, you may have to duck down a little. I also do like the Neo Angle showers with the radius doors. Uh, a lot of people you know, may not like them just because they look smaller, but when you're inside, honestly, you have pretty good movement compared to your standard shower with a curtain where you're constantly fighting with the curtain and it's making a mess. Uh, before we take a step back into the bunk room, I do just want to show you the extra storage here. So I personally do enjoy the pantry storage. <coughs> Excuse me. It's also worth noting that in the bunk room, there is a slide. The control for it is located right here. So you will want to know that when you are opening, uh, opening your camper up. You have a nice slider door there so you can close off this bunk room. So that way, you know, if you need to put the kids to bed and you stay up and play a game or entertain friends, you have the capability to do that. In this slide out, we essentially have two beds. You have the top folding bunk with 200 pound weight capacity. Again, that folds up and locks up so that way you can use the sofa if the kids wanna sit down. That does fold out. It's a jackknife style sofa, so that can fold out into a bed as well. And of course, they eliminated all carpet in the RV, which is great. In place, you have the uh, nylon uh, weave flooring there, which is marine grade, cleans up extremely easily. Then across the way is the other bunk, 300 pound weight capacity up top on this one, cut out for a TV. So if you want to put, you know, gaming station, PlayStation 5 or Xbox or something back here for the kids, you can do that. Of course, you have the ladder so you can climb up into the top bunk, storage behind that ladder, as well as shelves underneath that TV. And then as we take a step out, you can see the super slide in the large U dinette. Now, this is something that a lot of people when looking for bunk houses really want. Um, and I just want to clear something up, a common misconception. You generally can't sit more people at a U dinette than you can a standard. You're generally only going to get four people here just because there's not enough leg room. But the big advantage of a U-shaped dinette is that when you drop this table down, 
you do get a larger bed. So if you're looking to sleep adult guests at a U-shaped dinette, you can generally sleep an adult or two. So that's going to be the big advantage here. Uh, USB ports, in case you need to charge cell phones, tablets, whatever else you may have. And then again, a jackknife sofa there. So you have some more additional seating that does drop down into a bed. But again, for an adult, it may be a little tight. Now, as you're sitting there, maybe you want to watch some TV and well, right here is the entertainment center. One of the things I like is that you have this whole wall, right? They didn't frame it in. You don't have like a small area for a TV. So if you want a larger TV, you can have one here. Uh, you can see they actually have a cutout. I don't know, you probably can't see my finger, but they have, maybe if I go this way, there we go. They have a cutout right here with a grommet uh, so that you can run any cables down there, which I really like. So that way, if you have like a Bluetooth player, or um, not Bluetooth, Blu-ray player, you can have that right in there. Hook an HDMI up to this one and then run that cable right up to the back of the TV. I'm personally a big cable guy. I like a little bit cleaner look and that gives you the capability to do that. Um, of course, that is that multimedia center I just talked about, so you can uh, hook something up into that. You have the fireplace underneath. That, of course, is a space heater as well, storage on both sides. One of the things I like is that you can see that there's a little bit of a lip here. The reason I like that, it gives you kind of built-in shoe storage. So when you walk in, you can kick your shoes off, tuck them right underneath there. That is a huge win for me. It's something that we don't see too terribly often, but I am a huge fan of having that. Now for me, what really sets this bunkhouse model apart though is the master bedroom. Starting off right here with the slide out residential 60 by 80 queen size bed. It's not very often that you get a really big room in a bunkhouse, so I certainly appreciate this. I like the residential length so my feet aren't hanging off. Shelves up top so you have a place for your cell phones as well as some additional storage. And because you have the slide out here, it allows you to utilize this front end very similar to what you'd have in a fifth wheel where this is all wardrobe space. So you have a ton of closet space in here. And if you're looking to be able to stay out a little bit longer, maybe you want to you know, camp for a month and you have to do laundry, folks, right in here is washer dryer prep. Now, there is a trade off because you're going to lose the outside storage if you do washer dryer prep in here. But the fact that you have that option in a travel trailer at this price point in my mind is absolutely amazing and then you have some additional storage right down here plus if you want a tv they did put a backer in the wall so you know exactly where to mount it that way you can watch your favorite show before you go to bed on the exterior the pioneer bh330 right up front you will see the power tongue jack making it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover behind that of course the diamond plating on the front to help protect that front end from rocks that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle and the smooth aluminum front right up top here which i really like it's any bugs or anything that smash on the front as you're traveling the smooth aluminum is going to be easier to clean now as we make our way down the side i'll open up the storage and we saw this when we were inside but just to kind of give you an idea again so just imagine if you do have washer dryer in here, you know, you're going to lose this storage. But if you don't have washer dryer, you have the storage. I like the fact that they do give you the option. Making a step back a little bit further, we can see the power stabilizer jack. So that again, just making setting up camp that much quicker and easier. You have one control for the front two jacks, a control in the back for the rear two. And if you take a look right up top, kind of adding into that power package, right? We have the power tongue jack, power stabilizer jacks, and the power awning here. Now this is a Solera power awning. There's a couple things that I like about it. One, that LED light strip you can use no matter what position the awning is in. And you have a very uh, uh, easily adjustable pitch. So if you wanna tilt one side for rain runoff or if you wanna tilt both so you can uh, kind of follow the sun and get a little more shade, it is very easy to do that with this awning. You also see the more ride step above steps leading into the RV. These steps, of course, have aluminum treads on there with a little bit of grip tape. The aluminum uh, steps aren't going to rust, which is nice. And they give you the larger grab handle so that you have that full control from the very first step uh, all the way in. Coming back a little further, we get into uh, our fresh water inlet as well as the black tank flush and then uh, electrical outlet here as well as our uh, cable. So if you do want TV, you can kind of hook up TV here. You just have to put out a little table, but that's still kind of nice. Or if you just want to listen to music, they do have some speakers that are built into the exterior. 
As we make our way toward the back, something that is very unique that I really like on this floor plan is the fact you have your outside shower on the campsite. More often than not, it's on the off campsite, sometimes on the back, but it's very rare to find it here on the campsite. But I like the easy access of having both hot and cold water right there. And as we make our way back a little bit further, we get into that outside kitchen. So again, if you want a sink for the hot and cold water, you have that here. You have the nice heavy duty countertop, which is easy to clean storage right there. A few drawers, electrical outlet and the larger refrigerator. And for me, when it comes to an outside kitchen, this right here is what I'm all about. I want the bigger fridge, so I love the fact that it has it. You will also have a uh, propane quick connect underneath. So if you need to do any grilling, you can just hook your grill up right there so you can use the smaller bottles. And as we come around to the back side, you can see this one has the tailgate storage system. So this just drops down 200 pound weight capacity on there. So if you want to add a little firewood or some totes, gives you the ability to do that. And you can see the spare tire is mounted on there as well. And then right up top, we have our backup camera prep as well as the Lippert ladder prep. So you can get the telescoping ladder, hook it up right there so you can climb up onto the fully walkable roof. So folks, this right here, the Pioneer BH330 is an awesome family model. Now, if you're looking for something that's maybe a little bit smaller, well, stick around because I have a smaller one coming up for you right now.